Hey friends, it's Natasha and today I wanted to show you Kindergarten 2 from Christian Light Education. So this is a plain curriculum and it is designed for kids ages 5 to 6 years old. In the plain communities, kids don't typically start school until first grade and so they don't start learning to actually read until first grade and they go to first grade at the age of six. So I am going to be using this with my daughter who is four. I'm not quite sure if we're going to use it over summer or use it in the fall. But nevertheless, um, she has a November birthday. So she's um, technically wouldn't be in kindergarten in the fall by public school standards. However, this is totally appropriate for her to even start now. Um, it's just we have some other things we are working on right now, so we won't jump into this quite yet, but we will very soon. So it really just kind of depends on where your kid is at. I think it's totally appropriate for a pre-K program, but it is also appropriate for a kindergarten program too for a regular five-year-old. Um, so let me show you what this is all about. Okay, so first of all, I wanna say that this teacher's guide, technically it's not necessary. Technically you can just buy the workbooks and activity books. However, this is like gold. I definitely recommend you get it. So I'm gonna get into this in just a minute, but for now I wanna show you the workbooks and activity books. So there's five of each, five workbooks, five activity books, and the workbook is what it says, a workbook and the activity book is an activity book. And so let's go here and you can see the workbook. So we've got workbook one here. This would be where they're starting out. Okay, so here we have the contents and we can see that they're basically going to be doing numbers one through six as far as writing the numbers, but they are going to recognize and count numbers one to seven and they're going to be uh, learning the sound of S, M, A, and F. Oh, and D. And circles and things like that. So um, at the beginning of each little workbook, it tells you the materials you're going to need for that workbook. And let me just give you a little synopsis right here. It says Kindergarten 2 has five little light workbooks. They prepare students for their Learn to Read program that they'll do in first grade. They do things like matching, dot to dot, sounds, letter writing, recognizing and writing numbers 1 to 100, and more. This is, this is supposed to introduce them to these concepts, but mastery is not expected at all in their kindergarten program. So that's something to keep in mind. If they don't master these things, that's okay because they're going to learn that in their learn to read program and in their first grade program. Okay, so the reason why the teacher's guide is not necessary is because the teacher's guide was actually written after these workbooks were. And so they do have information at the bottom of the pages to let you know what you're supposed to do. But again, I think this teacher's guide is absolutely necessary and I'll show you why in just a minute. So there's these black and white pages for the kids to do. And so they're going to be doing these different activities, working on these letters and numbers and things like that. Okay, so let's just flip through that really quick. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on the workbooks just because the CLE website, um, it's actually a CLP, it's like Christian Light Publications you go to, has samples of every single workbook. So we don't wanna spend a ton of time. I'm gonna just stop right here in case you wanted to pause the video and look at that contents, but I really wanna take some time going through the teacher manual so you can kind of get a good idea about that. But you can see the level of difficulty in the workbooks here. Okay, and then, oh, and I should say that there are six lessons in each workbook. However, the lessons are divided up into three sessions. So it goes one session in the workbook, one session in activity book, and then back to the workbook. So you can break this up however you like. So if you wanted to do one lesson a day, then this would take you about six weeks. If you wanted to do one session a day, then let's see, that would be 30 times three, so that would take you 90 days. So basically a semester. So this could be like a semester long program if you're doing it five days a week. If you wanted to spread it out, then you could just do kindergarten a couple days a week for a full year program. So I hope that makes sense. So you can really spread it out however you like. Um, and that's why I'm thinking we might actually do this as a summer program. 
um, just because I think my daughter is fine with that. And she actually likes workbooks a lot. So, um, yeah. But uh, you can see right here, we're, uh, we're in book three, and we're already starting on addition. So, it's ramping up. Okay. And we do have a nice counting chart in the back. All right, then we have workbook four. And again, you can see the samples on the Christian Light website. So look at this, they're, they're finding the ending sound. And they can even practice starting to read those words if they're ready. We've got more addition, number recognition, matching the letters to their sounds, more ending sounds, getting into the teens here. Yeah, we've got all this. I love this. You have to put in the number in order. Okay. And look at here. They're beginning to read. So in book four, they're really beginning to read just some CVC words. And then we've got book five. More addition. Okay, we got some more CVC words. And look at this. I love this. They're starting to work on place value. And subtraction. So as you can see, this is a really thorough kindergarten program. So now let's take a look and you're gonna see that even more when you get to the teacher guide. But let's take a look at these activity books. So this is activity book one. And so the, this, my daughter is just gonna eat this up. Um, and I'll pause on the contents. And then we have, of course, the materials needed here. And then we have um, the different activities. So some of them will be cut and paste like this one, uh, working on colors, that sort of thing. Um, So as you can see, different actual activities, visual discrimination type stuff too. I noticed a lot of that in there, which is great pre-reading activities left and right. Okay, then we have activity book two. Let me show you the contents here. Okay, so now we're working on some more colors. We're going to work on, you know, position words right and left, long and short. Learning your phone number, rhyming, okay, then we're going to activity book three, there's the contents again. some really fun stuff that they've got. Oh, my daughter's gonna love that one. She loves anything with ice cream. Then we have activity book four. Mm, story of Jonah. And then finally, activity book five. So now I know all their color words, their address. Now let's show you the gold here, the teacher's guide. Okay, so we have the 
lessons here broken up. Lesson one, section one, two, three, and then Bible memory slash singing, comma, story time. That's basically how this whole thing works. So each lesson is broken up into three sessions and it has at the end, the Bible memory, singing, and story time. Okay, so it goes through each book there and then in the appendix, I'm gonna show you that because that is also gold. <laughs> so then we have Introduction to Kindergarten 2, talks about the different components like the workbook, activity books, teacher guide, and has these little boxes. These are optional activities related to the lesson if there's no little hand, and if it has little hand, it's an optional activity to add fun and variety. And then it talks about the lesson components. Um, session one, you're going to go over sound and letter, letter comprehension. Session two, you have activities in the activity book. And then session three is numbers and counting. So it's kind of like your, your language arts, your activities, your math. And then we have motor skills, and then we have Bible memory and singing. And there's a chart in the back I'll show you. And then we have story time. And then support materials in the appendix include flashcards, Bible memory verses, song suggestions, more stories, more poems, letter and number rhymes, motor skills and teaching tips, and more fun projects. So then at the beginning of each unit, you'll see a page like this for the lesson and it tells you what you need to do before class, the objectives for session one, session two, and session three, the materials needed, and the materials needed for the optional activities too. That way you can be totally prepared. Okay, so it is scripted in the fact that it tells you exactly what to do and what to say. Um, I love how it incorporates poetry and it has these little activities that you can do, like give each child a chance to make a sound and have the other children guess what the sound is. Of course, that would be for a classroom, but if you have multiple kids, you could do that. Um, look at a picture book with a child, have him point out pictures beginning with s, okay? So, and then it tells you on each thing exactly what to do. Let the children blow bubbles at your next recess time and see the appendix for the recipe. Um, have children practice making lines and circles on the board. And then I'll look at a picture book. Have them point out items that begin with mmm and, and even S. Okay, and then we go on to lesson one, session two. Again, it tells you exactly what to do. It tells you when to give them the flashcards from the appendix so you're never guessing um, if homeschooled have children look through some of their toys to see if they can find some that begin with this sound uh, more about the flashcards here so it has a you know the page the student pages here but it tells exactly what you should be telling them at the end of the lesson it has the bible memory in or singing and it has story time where you're going to read them the story just a short little story and then have questions to ask them about the story then we get into lesson two. Again, we're gonna have the objectives for all three sessions, the materials needed, and the materials needed for the optional activities. Then again, we get into to lesson two, and we just go right along here, and it has so many fun different things, okay? So I noticed it has all kinds of activities that make this really, really enriching. And so I'm gonna point out some of those as I go through this. Um, so we're going to give each child an assortment of coins and an egg carton or muffin tin and have them sort. We're going to practice little number rhymes. We're going to glue um, macaroni onto a letter M and read a poem. We're going to look through magazines for things that start with the different sounds. Um, let's see. going to make a kite. How fun is that? Take the children fishing and cook fish to eat. I don't know that we'll do that. Maybe we will. You know what? My daughter has always said she wanted to go fishing. Maybe my husband will do that. Or give them fish crackers or fish sticks. I think some goldfish might be more up my alley, but I just thought that was so fun. It just has all these great activities. Like this is exactly what I want in a program like this for little ones. Um, give each child a dice and six items. Um, they roll the dice and then they count out that many items. 
And then let's see, what else? Okay, discuss fire trucks. Visit a fire station if you can. Read a children's book about fires. Just all kinds of activities that tie in with what you're doing to make this really, really enriching. I mean, isn't it wonderful? I just think it's wonderful. Um, ask the children if they have any experiences with goats. I guess, I guess you could go visit a goat if you have a goat nearby. Maybe you have goats. I'm gonna review the rhymes. So they have little rhymes, you know. Ah, 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 apple red keeps me healthy, it is said. I'll have to work on those little rhymes myself, I think. Okay. Just flipping through this. You know, I'll just point out this here too for motor skills. So, you know, stand up straight and count to 10, jump up high 10 times, hop with your right foot 10 times, do 10 toe touches, 10 jumping jacks. So it's really, I feel like they have really thought of a comprehensive kindergarten program in this. They really thought of all the different components of kindergarten. I think I used to be a kindergarten teacher for a long time and I would have no issues using this in the classroom, but I can tell you that I would have no issues using this at home too. I can already tell. Um, they're gonna practice down and up and squatting and so they're getting active as they're learning. I love that. Read the book, We Build a House, available from Christian Light Publications. So see, some things like that, I'll want, I like to you know do all the things. So I will want to make sure I'm looking ahead. And, and honestly, I'll go through this completely before we even begin and make sure I have all the materials and all the books and all the extra things because even though they're optional, I think they're so enriching and I want to do all the things. And I know my daughter will just love it. So... I'm going to go through this thoroughly and make sure that I have everything that is needed because if I don't have it on hand, you know, then it holds you up and, you know, then the kid's like sitting there while you're looking for something or you're like, oh, sorry, we can't do that because I don't have that. You know, I don't like to do that. So I try to have everything I need ready to go. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the entire teacher's manual here, but you get the idea. You see the layout and you see what I mean by the activities that it brings in. I just absolutely love it. Okay, so then here we have the appendix and these are reproducible. So we've got flashcards here. So of course, like I will put these on um, cardstock and laminate them, that's what I'll do. Um, but I won't do it yet because um, it has the kids use like, so I'll put them on cardstock, but then I won't laminate them until we're done with that in the lesson because it'll tell the kids to, you know, like color it a certain way or do a certain thing with it. So I don't want to laminate it until they're done with that. So I will copy it on the cardstock, but I won't laminate it right away. So that's just a hint. You, you, you want to leave them unlaminated right at the beginning. But then once they're done, I'll laminate it to keep it um, durable to use over and over again. So then we have the number flashcards here, and then we have the crayon color flashcards. And again, it tells you in the teacher guide, you know, give them the red flashcard or whatnot. And then we have our shapes here. We have the um, Bible memory verses. So we've got this page here you can reproduce and you can check off on the chart when they get it. You can put st use stickers it suggests. Okay, and then we have the song suggestions and it gives this book, Praises We Sing, Praises for Children or Our Hymns of Praise, um, our additional uh, our books that have these songs in them. So of course that's something that I will pick up. Um, and then we have more stories. These are just more read aloud stories that you can use however you want. So these are just simply extra stories um, with the comprehension questions. And then we've got more poems, okay? And well, we have an index of the poems and then we have extra poems for enjoyment. So, um, you know, poetry tea time or whatnot, that is fun. And then we have the letter and number rhymes and it tells you the lesson and it gives you the rhyme. I'm so glad that they condensed this to one page. And then we have the number rhymes on the back and then we have motor skills and teaching tips. 
So we've got the motor skills activity. So in uh, the first little light one, the first lesson, the motor skills, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and it just goes through that. Um, and then we have teaching tips down here. And then we have fun projects. Okay, so we have Play-Doh, how to make a kite, bubbles, and soft pretzels. So these are some of the activities that need actual directions that are in the teacher's guide. Well, it tells you the directions here in the appendix. I think I wanna make these like right now because I love soft pretzels. Okay, anyway, so that is the teacher guide. So as you can see, while it is not necessary, it really makes a comprehensive kindergarten program when you are using the teacher guide. So I think it is worth it. It is so inexpensive for this program to begin with. I hope you have a blessed day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.